and uh, really easy. So basically the idea is you're creating um, a landing page for a property if you, um, if you get like a listing. Um, so let me share screen here. So first thing we're gonna do is log into command. Can you see my screen okay? Yes, yes, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go to agent.kw.com um, and then log in, of course. Um, I'm using Louisa's today. Okay. And um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure, first of all, that your marketing profile is set up properly. Um, is, I don't know if you've done that or not, but to do that, you're gonna go here, uh, top right where your little photo is, click on settings. Then you're going to go to connect settings and then marketing profile. And then you're just going to make sure your photo is set up. If you have a team logo, um, maybe a slogan, um, credentials, a brief bio, mobile number, office number, all of that. And once that's all entered correctly, you can click save. And oh, it looks like it wants a slogan. So I'm gonna just put a little space bar in there. All right. Oh, and looks like uh looks like our joiner joined is I, I think this is uh Larry. Okay. Uh it says Bonnie Bonnie Crawford, but I believe that's Larry. Hey Larry. All right, so yeah, you're gonna you're gonna make sure your marketing profile is up to date. Click save changes, and it's good to go. Okay. Okay. So now, um, if you go back here, you open expand this menu. You're gonna go down to consumer, and this is you probably remember from the website. Um, tech class I did two weeks ago, your IDX website. Whoops, let's see, why is this not loading? There we go. Um, this is where you're also gonna build pages for your website. Um, so to do landing pages, you're gonna go here, right? Um, and this is the list of all the landing pages Luis has already got for properties that she, she's had listed. Um, so all you got to do is hit create a new page and then you're going to click as a landing page and then go to create page. Now, in, in order to um, have anything set up for this page first, you're going to have to have these one of these widgets pulled over into it in order to add more content. So there's a few options. You got agent marketing, you got a uh, branded header or agent branding, branded header, lead form, legal footer, all of those. So uh, what we're gonna do is branded header and pull that over. And you'll notice the green line is gonna show that top, uh, like where it's gonna be placed. Yes. All right, so now we got our, our header, right? Um, mm -hmm. Now from there, then we can just drag over, uh, oh, sorry, that's a lead form. We're gonna drag over a listing, okay? And we want that to go under it, so we just make sure the bar is there. Now this automatically loaded a property, and this is just a template, right? So it's gonna show all of these things here. It's gonna show the property pictures and the details, but we don't want this property, right? So we're gonna pull an actual listing, so in order to change this, we're gonna to go to configure widget. And, whoop, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so we click that and then we click browse listings. All right, and this is linked to the MLS through KW command. So you can type in the address of your property. Um, I'm just gonna do a generic one. So we're gonna do one, two, three, Main Street. 
and search. And we're just going to pull one. This looks like it's in Gostra, Michigan. So we're going to select that. And then that's right here, right? So from here, we can pick our first photo. That's going to be our header image. The, right. So you want to pick the photo that you think should be showcased. And then once you have that, um, you know, I, I think the first one's probably fine. We're going to hit save and apply. And there you go. So there's our one, two, three main street with our featured photo. That's a lovely house, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> $57,900, all right. It looks like a shack. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna call this a luxury listing. Uh, it's 940 square feet, got the two bedrooms, got all the description. Great curb appeal, it says, so that's exciting. <laughs> and all the photos down here, right? Uh, there's also a map, um, which is great. So we're gonna click save and apply. Now we could publish this right away and then that listing would go live as a landing page. We're gonna just say save landing page for now. And then yes, save it. All right. So now we go back to our landing pages and there it shows up as a draft, right? We're not gonna publish that yet. All we gotta do then from here, if we wanna add anything is click these little uh, three dots and we click edit. Okay, so we've got our header, we've got our images, we've got some of the data on the property. Now, if I'm doing an open house, um, I may want to get a uh, some kind of lead capture on this because I'm going to be sending people to this landing page. So I'm going to click and drag over this lead form and drop it. Oh, let's see here. Give me a second. Let me get rid of that. Okay. I'm gonna drop it down here. And now we've got a lead capture. So now anytime someone enters information into there, that's gonna pop up into our lead form in command and I'll show you where in a second. Um, and let's see what else. You know, another good one is download my app. So let's drag that in. And last but not least, I think there's a legal footer right here. I always want to throw that in on the bottom. There we go. So we've got all the elements in place for a property search website called, you know, landing page. So from there, we can save it or we can just publish it if we like what we see. Um, you know, there's other things if you want to do, um, we can do, uh, a video or testimonials, um, quite a few options there as well. Um, but we're going to say, save that landing page. Yes. And then go back to our landing pages. Now, there's another option here. Let's, I'm going to actually edit it and I'm going to go publish it. Yes, update it. Okay. So now that landing page is live, but I don't really like the, uh, uh, the description of it here. So if I click on those two dots, I can change the URL. Okay. And I'm gonna give it a more custom URL and we're gonna call this 123 Main Street. And that will change the URL. Okay. To something a little more customized. So, that's the basics, man. It's really easy to do. Then you can share this link with your clients. Um, you can send it out in various ways. Um, it also then when you go to your 
website, like if we were go, gonna go to Luisa's website, so if we go to kwpalabasas.com and we go over to our agents and then we search for Luisa, she's gonna be down in the R's. Yes, the few agents on here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Look on her website. No, no. This is Dobby, by the way. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. He's hanging with me today. <laughs> All He's right. So quiet. Uh, what's that? He's so quiet. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, you know what? It hasn't updated yet, but this is where it would it would show up. Okay. So you can add that as a featured listing on your website and so on, like Louisa has here. I think that's so, important. I think maybe we can borrow somebody else's uh, listing and just use that on your website too. That's absolutely. Fun. Yeah, you are. You can throw up any listings that are high, you know maybe other agents in the office. Um, so yeah, that's exactly exactly right um that's it man i don't any questions at all no that was very easy i okay. think that that gives you some marketing ideas that i'm gonna to have to find but that looks good i like that okay awesome yeah so here's the link here um you can change the name as well if you want so um we could call this uh instead of new landing page template, we could call this test. Um, maybe we wanna make some changes to it. Um, we can click on this and toggle it off. And then that'll deactivate it so no one will be able to log on to it. Or if we maybe we sell the place, we can delete it. Okay. That sounds great. Yep. That was very easy. There's a quick, quick, quick go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Click and drag. So I hope that was helpful. And uh, yeah, um, let me know if you get any listings you want to put up on your page if you need help. I appreciate it. Good luck on your test. Thanks, and, man. And we'll play later with Beckham. <laughs> All right. Yep. That sounds good. Talk Thank you. Have a good, have a good weekend, Andrew. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.